Hello, hi everyone. So welcome back to our sessions. The marathons are on and the revision lectures we are putting on one by one, one on on uh, one chapter. We are doing the first chapter of the strategic management CMA inter group two paper number nine, part B. The paper is operation management and strategic management. As you all know, we have covered what is strategy, what is management, what is strategic management, what are the advantages of strategic management, disadvantages of strategic management. We completed what are the actual difference between features and characteristics. We understood with a proposal example. We also understood that there is strategic fit and strategic stretch, which says about the opportunities and resources, how they are being utilized according to the available resources. So we all know that what is management? Management is the art of getting things done by others effectively and efficiently, where what happens is there is men uh, manage and tactics, three words which are very important. And this can be a very important part of our discussion, which we had done earlier. I hope you have understood. Now coming to one small example. With that example, I can start with the vision, mission and objectives and goals. The difference between objectives and goals, difference between vision, mission, whether the vision comes first or the mission comes first, we will understand very nicely with different beautiful examples which we have in the day-to-day -day life. Real-based examples, you're going to check with the vision statement, mission statement, and so on. So the uh, we are almost in the end of the session. So make sure that you watch the lecture till the end because it's very necessary and you will understand the uh, main crux point of this particular chapter, right? So let's begin our session for the day or uh, let's start the portion okay so as i said you that we have uh, example i'm going to start with an example the first one is what what is management management is art of getting things done by others effectively and efficiently now i would like to give an explanation or an example on domino's example you people know what is domino's you people have a craze for pizza, cheese burst and chocolava, the beautiful product which it has is chocolava. Till now, it's my favorite. Trust me, it's beautiful, yum. And it's like, you know, it, now also I'm just getting the uh, water on the mouth. Okay. <coughs> so here what has <coughs> happened is So as you can see on my screen, this is a Domino's example, the management, uh, like, you know, how do you explain a management? I just found, found out a beautiful example that is Domino's. We know the pizza, we have different products called pizza, cheese burst. Then uh, as already said is chocolava and uh, the butter, uh, butterscotch mousse cake, right? And many others, many others, right? So now what has happened is man management is what? The, in Domino's, what is being done? We are giving an order. We are giving an order to Domino's through online or when we go and give it, right? Yes or no? Now here there are people who are managing it. Uh, these are different people. These are different people who manage it, right? So what has happened is, uh, first thing is there are two words which are involved in management is making the things done by others in an effective and efficient manner. What is effectively or what is efficiently? Efficiently purely speaks about, you know, optimum use of resources. Whatever the resources they have, they are using the best version of it. Like they have the pizza base and how many pizza bases are there or how many like chili flakes or if you have uh, pep uh, peppers or you know the capsicums or the paneer mushroom chicken and so many things these are whatever amount it's there they're properly effectively efficiently using those resources okay what is effectively effectively means when they're giving you a good quality when they're giving you good quantity when they're giving you a beautiful service within the 30 minutes of time and they're giving us customer satisfaction to complete the goal within the time is called effective 
Efficient means using those resources in a beautiful way, in a better way and making sure that there is nothing else which has remained there. That is called efficient. So I hope you understood the two words, effective and efficient, right? Now coming to our lesson, I hope you people are seeing that I'm also making sure that you are with me through the book also. Anyone who is using the 2022 book also, not a problem. It's same, pure same. Just the color has been changed. Maybe there is a pink reading, pink and black uh, coloring, but it's all the same. The uh, details are all same. Don't worry for that. Okay, so here coming to our vision. What is vision? As you know, vision is a very important statement. It is what? It is a statement. When is it made? It is made while you are incorporating the company or an organization. Why is it made? It is made to make sure there is a proper definition that what a company would like to like to see in a futuristic manner, in a high, uh, in a broadcasting manner. Like you know, you're seeing a long term approach in the future. What the organization or a company shaping the organization strategy in a beautiful way and putting it into a statement is called a vision is called what is called a vision so in short vision is what vision is a road map of to the company's future it gives you a guideline it is a road map vision indicates indicates what the strategic management trying to create future what a company is wishing to do in the future it is giving you a direction it is a giving you an image it is giving you a it is giving you a, a description on it. Vision specifies about the company's intention and capabilities adopting with the advanced and new technology with a lot of research and development which has been done. Vision also specifies the specific uh, management policies towards the customers and the societies. Vision makes sure that it it takes a proper understanding on both the customers as well as the society and goes in the similar way, joining both, integrating both, and then go ahead. Got it? So this was about what is vision. So for you people, I have written something. If you see here, vision. Vision shows us picture of what it wants to be and what it wants to achieve what it wants to be okay and what it actually wants to achieve these both are very very important what it wants to be and what it wants to achieve what it wants to be and what it wants to achieve very very necessary part Okay, then it lays a disc, uh, dis desired future state. I also said, you see, these points which I have written can be for MCQ portion. So if you want, you make a note or jot down things. I hope, see, I have written in this point ways. So I'm saying you flash notes, bullet notes are very necessary. If you keep noting down while I'm speaking, you will literally never forget in your life that what is vision, what is mission, what is things and how things go ahead and so, okay. So, roadmap of a company's future indicates the company to which a management is trying to create, like nanotechnology. Okay, what is Tata speaking? First, Tata wanted that it has to bring on vehicles where it is giving economy, like you know, the economy or the average group of people can also buy cars. So, they thought of bringing nanotechnology or nano cars. Now, adoption of technology or research and development policies towards society and customers. Now, very, very necessary is tell me, guys. That boys and girls, all the students here watching my class, vision comes first, your mission comes first. Ma'am, I have a doubt. There's some people saying, ma'am, mission. Ma'am, I think it is vision, ma'am. Okay, to clear your doubts, always there is a vision. You need to have something ahead. Then only you create mission on it. 
right you need to have a futuristic state now for example what is my vision my vision i am saying my vision okay in the same way if you think in a, your point of view or a company point of view you can happily understand what is vision now if i say what is my vision my vision is to become a successful edupreneur okay to be a good educator to be a good motivator to be a good inspirational influencer or you can say a trainer a faculty and so okay these are what these are the vision which i am seeing i am seeing myself as 10 years above down the line i see that this is me vikita right cma vikita and uh, like you know there are so many things into it being a successful personality grasping a lot of positivity in me okay so that is what vision now coming what is mission mission is uh, mission and purpose means for achieving those vision there are some missions to be done there are some small small steps you should take not that you easily become a uh, you easily go and reach the vision you can't right you need to do something in your life to reach your vision so that something that purpose that purpose of living that purpose of going ahead is mission now my mission is to have a different different certification courses so that i can just add on to my name tag and that can give me a lo got lot of satisfaction and it can make me achieve my vision slowly slowly okay now what can be my objectives objectives means i have to check that how i have to do those do those different courses like cma i have already done cma now i i i have also done the disa course now i want to do the dfa course the diploma in forensic audit then you have sap course then you have you know uh, the data analytics course and many other courses which you have you want to enrich knowledge to to become as a uh, edupreneur to become a motivational speaker to become a inspirational personality you need to have something right there should be a grasp a grasp and a positiveness a, a a style which should actually go ahead and then give you a sense of that yeah ma'am is something now right so the objectives are what are those certifications which i want to do goals are slowly slowly one one certifications i i clear in 3 months 6 months duration of time and as slowly slowly i do it the targets are being achieved these are what these are the vision so first comes is what boys and girls first comes is the vision then comes the mission and the purpose then comes the objectives then comes the goals and then comes the targets understood now i wish i request you people to just uh, uh, pause and just write down what is your vision your vision and mission and so see i have given an example here vision can be see vision only can be one it it can only be one one but mission can be many to achieve what is vision vision is one mission can be mission 1 mission 2 mission 3 mission 4 ma'am don't say mission mission impossible 1 mission impossible 2 no 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 that, that is also one type okay so next comes is what objectives then comes is what goals then comes is what targets so one by one you have to achieve you see how i have written it first vision okay vision to be a successful edupreneur mission a success complete cma and other courses these are dfa content audit internal audit sap uh, then di uh, diploma in you know uh, tax audits like you know statutory audit many other okay cost audit related any certification many so what is the purpose to be called as a best cost accountant is my purpose objective to clear cma foundation inter final as soon as possible and just saying you an example you can just take your name here you want you can just remove this name you can take x y z your wish then goals pass in all papers in single attempt it is my goal it is my wish it has to be succeeded then only slowly slowly i come here 
not that directly I can go here. I have to cross these all things and then go, right? Then coming target, specify some, some papers as 60 plus to clear easily. This is my target. When I specify 60 plus in some and then 40 plus in some other, then obviously I'll pass. That is my strategy, target, strategy, okay? So I hope you understood what is vision, motive, mission, purpose, objective, goal, and target. Now, very important. You need to make a note. I mean, in, in one paper, write down your vision. You need to purely understand that what is your vision, vision of yours, mission of yours. Mission, then purpose, objectives goals and targets promise me that you are going to pause now and write down think five minutes 10 minutes but think you need to know actually what your life is what you are what is the purpose of your life what is your mission what actually are your short term what are your now day to day or one month or 10 days targets what actually over is the roadmap these all things should be very clear. You are in this stage. That should be very clear. People think strategy management is useless subject. But now you understand. It's so beautiful. It gives you a, a way of dealing in life. It gives you a roadmap. It gives you a blueprint. If you actually write these, no? If you, if you write these, no? I'm saying you, trust me, you get a clarity of what you're doing in life. It works. It's magic. And after writing down properly, as I have written here, please make sure that you paste it in some place where you keep seeing it all the time and it's an inspiration to you. You have to create your own inspiration, not anyone else. Okay. Next coming is... Yeah, so we have done what is vision. Now let's understand there are some brands which we have in our book. Huh? The vision we have done, roadmap, these all things I think we have completed, right? Now, what is strategic vision? Strategic vision describes management's aspiration for the future and delights the company's strategic uh, course and long-term direction. It's just uh, just saying about strategic way of vision. And uh, some examples are McDonald's. You see, McDonald's vision is what you see here. See, to be the best service restaurant experience. Okay, which means what? What does best mean here? Providing the outstanding quality service cleanliness value so that every customer who is coming is satisfied with a happy smile and goes back i hope you have understood what i am saying Like McDonald's, we also have different companies like Google, Amazon, and many other things, okay? So as you can see, to provide access to world's information in one click is Google's vision. So it is actually providing in that way. When we have any doubt, any small doubt also, we put it in Google. So Google Baba, Baba Zindabad, we say, right? So in the same way, Amazon, to be the Earth's most customer-centric company, to Build a place where a people can come and find and discover anything they might want to buy online. So these are some examples which I have kept it so that it's easy for you to understand. So those are the strategy uh, vision statements. So now we have is uh, there are three important points elements where you need to understand what a strategic vision should have. Okay, so uh, strategic vision specifies primarily three things, where we are, where, where we are, where we want to go, uh, uh, and who we are, who, where, and uh, who we are, where we are now, and where we are going. 
where we are now, where we are going and who we are is these three important points or three elements which should be uh, understood or specifies three elements which it should be taken care of. So the strategic vision has important purposes. What are those important purposes? It's, it's not that important, but yeah, we'll, we'll read it. First, it gives you a clear, uh, it gives you a direction that a company wants to follow. It gives you a path. It gives you a roadmap, right? It identifies the existing uh, direction and products. And then it, it creates a passionate environment in the organization it it creates a creativity in every member of the, our company to prepare the company for future to promote into entrepreneurship so these are some points which a strategic vision has some purpose so question if question comes can come whether the strategic vision has some purpose then you have to write yes and what are the purpose first thing is the three elements it should be who we are where we are and where we are going okay second comes is it is very clear it gives you a road map then comes is it it gives you existing direction and products it is having creates a passionate environment in the organization to steer the company and give a proper guideline next it creates creativity in every member so that they know about what a company's future is right so next comes is what are the different benefits of a vision first very important is all the visions are very very exciting very inspiring very exhilarating okay it's like very much motivating it's something like you know uh, fast like it's something very unique like tesla company's vision so beautiful it says about you know uh, that it wants to create a place where it has only electric vehicles in 21st century beautiful right so it's inspiring it's not you know any tom dick and harry can do it no it's so nice it's so good <clears throat> that when you see the vision only you feel like kuch hai something is there in this right in this product now vision represents the discontinuity a step function a jump ahead so that the company knows what to be a good vision helps in creation of a good identity and shared sense of purpose good identity and then it has competitive original and uniqueness it has to foster risk taking means it has to make sure it has one of the important attribute of taking risk accepting risk and also foster long term thinking long term futuristic thinking then it uh, it represents integrity and they are truly genuine and it can help uh, the people right very nice so explain company's mission now coming to what is mission as already i have told you that vision comes first and then comes mission so vision all the points we have understood what is mission mission is what it is one of the reason for its existence it is a most important objective or a purpose of an organization it uh, it has to it 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 is a reason for its existence okay so it highlights the organization's self-concept, indicates the nature of a product service offered, and then it also gives you a fulfillment of what a society, a community can go. The company's mission describes the purpose and represent the mission, who we are, what we are, what we are doing, and why we are here. Three important points: who we are, what we are doing, and why we are here. Every organization must ask an uh, an uh, question that what a business we are in and the answer should be marketing prospective okay it should be the way it should be answered now there are some examples indian oil we pr uh, produce oil and gasoline products we produce various types of safe and cost effective energy this is indian oil's mission uh, indian railways we uh, run a rail road and we offer a transportation of transportation and material handling system so it gives you a proper purpose and a mission okay so what are the different objectives of a mission so these are the objectives of a mission means objectives means how a mission can be actually uh, done first un unanimity of a purpose unanimity of a purpose means it should be all together 
it should be unanimous okay it, it should be all together next it provides motivating for an organization resource it should not be boring it should be something which is giving you one uh, think that tomorrow there is something new to happen then it develops a basis or a standard for allocating organizational resources. It uh, gives you a standard and a place where you can allocate the organizational resources. It establishes a general tone or organizational climate. For example, to suggest a business-like operation. Okay, it uh, to serve a focal point for those who identify the organizational purpose and direction and to deter those who cannot participate okay to make sure that focus on those people who identify and to remove from uh, those people who are not able to match those things to facilitate transact uh, transitional of objectives and goals specify organizational purpose and translation of these purpose into goals convert these purposes and objectives into goals so that it is cost time and performance effective okay now what are the different ways or the uh, like you know guideline formulation of mission statement what what are the different uh, ways of going and doing a mission statement okay so mission statement some guidelines are first it should be based on existing business capabilities not that whatever it wants to do what it has it has to focus on that who we are and what we want to do who we are present what who we are and what actually want a company wants to do not just because it is it is thinking of doing something after 10 years and no it should focus uh, on existing capabilities next it should focus on long term strategy principles also long term strategy principles means ahead profit making should be not only only the mission it should also focus on logical extension of existing capabilities whatever is there according to the resources according to the uh, management ways and policies it should effectively and efficiently follow that okay it should clearly and precisely present the future orientation of a business. It should include achievable missions and it should be motivating force to every member of an organization. It should be something like, you know, it should be a drive. It should be a gear for a person to come and work for a company every day, every single day. Okay, mission statement should also communicate to every member of an organization. It's not that, you know, just the CFO, CEOs or the head of the departments know it. No, every single person, every single employee of the organization must know the vision and the mission statement. Why? Because mission statement purely speaks about the purpose. Why the company is existing? What is the use of this company? Where we are and what we are doing? Everything should be done. It should, should be known to the employees. If not known, they will never have a proper objective or a goal to do something. And then uh, if they don't have that goal, then the company will lead into low crisis or in uh, that there won't be a proper profitable situation of the company. Okay. So the interest of every particular member should be shown and the customer, uh, they include the interest of the customer and the society even. Okay, there are some few mission st uh, statements. Google, you see Google to organize the world's information and make it universes universally accessible and useful is what is a mission statement of Google. Bharat gas, you know, the gas petroleum, uh, like, you know, co you cook those that with that gas. What has happened to make Bharat gas a dominant brand? dominant brand and in the segment we market becoming the trend setters it should be something which people if they want gas they should make sure that they remember bharat gas that is how they are providing mission statement okay now coming to the difference between vision and mission so if you see vision and mission i already explained your vision is here vision mission is here what is vision what is mission uh, I, we have read now let's understand the difference between of it okay so vision is what it provides a roadmap of companies future defines the products and services of organization provides it specifies the company's 
it specifies the company's capabilities to adopt a new technology here the technologies are used with research and development here it specifies management policies to world's customer and societies here what happens it gives customer need and requirements and society's needs and requirements and brings on existence and distinctive competencies okay so what is vision vision is a future vision it is all about a future vision a, a management a, a statement where it shapes the organization strategy it is a road map it shows the future and it indicates where the organization is heading it is heading it is going to okay and what is its intention is the vision mission is what mission is a fundamental objective and it comes below vision and uh, of an organization which is set apart from others it 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 actually focuses on the purpose or existence or the reason for why the company is there okay it purpose the existence understand this point very important mission is existence or the purpose vision is what it brings you indicates where it is heading to where it is heading to okay now in short this is one more thing which i thought of giving you you can just take a screenshot it is a beautiful way of remembering it before exam it is important point difference is very important mcqs can be asked or i think there can be a two marks question which can be asked for vision and mission okay now coming to what is objectives and goals as already understood vision comes first then comes mission then comes uh, objectives then comes goals then comes targets okay so in our book we have understood vision and mission in our notes also we have understood vision and mission now we'll understand what are the objectives what are the objectives as we all know i explained to you my objectives i told you people to write it i hope you have written written or not yes we have written so what we are doing is objectives are performance targets which organizations want organization wants as a result or outcomes in the specified periods outcomes of the specified periods okay objectives achievements are used as a benchmark of an organization's performance and success it is formed from the vision it is formed from vision and mission it is not normally formed it is formed from the vision statement and the mission statement with the both only they are starting and making the objectives of the organization they are open ended for future states and objectives are long term objectives are interchangeable with used by goals sometimes they uh, sometimes objectives are used as goals and goals are used as objectives also this can be a question mcq can be asked that whether objectives are interchangeably used with goals you can say yes it can be used with goals okay so let's understand what are goals goals are more specific more uh, like you know more close uh, close ended and more precise where very very particular in thing okay so uh, the three important goals are survival profitability and growth okay so goals define the direction and overall destination of a company which helps you to realize your vision it helps you to realize your vision so now what we have to do is uh, these are these are these are so what i felt like uh, goals must be smart okay what are smart it should be specific it should be measurable it should be attainable it should be realistic and it should be timely if these are the points if you focus on you can achieve goals and then slow uh, sometimes these goals can be interchangeable with the objectives which we have right so the question of objectives and goals can be interchangeably used you can say according to the situation according to the environment according to the company's demand and wishes it can be interchangeable so you just have to write and when interchanged also the goals must be in smart characteristics i mean the attributes of the goals must be smart that is uh, specific measurable attainable realistic and timely so just check what is specific means you must know uh, what exactly you want to achieve how uh, measurable means how you measure your progress about the 
goal then the best goals are delicate and balanced they challenging then uh, it is saying realistic means it's not should should not be dreaming okay it should be something which you actually can do deadline timely deadline uh, like you need to check your due dates so these are the objective uh, like goals explain the characteristics of objectives what are the characteristics of objectives first thing it is it facilitates it facilitates mission and goals it sets uh, the basis for strategic decision making it is measurable it is controllable it is challenging it is it is within the time frame see objectives of uh, uh, um, objectives characteristics of objectives can be the specific measurable attainable realistic and timely also if you check those are all the points next what is the difference between goals and objectives this is an important question so let's read it and make a mark if you if you do, i i'm sure you don't have it in the book make a note of it because it's important okay so objectives and goals first time frame objectives are timeless and enduring and unending it is timeless any any number of objectives you can put and there is no time frame but goals are temporal in nature they are time phased and they are very short term okay specific and short term objectives are long term goals are short term objectives are stated in broad and general terms so goals are very specific and according to one particular result and for a specific date only okay uh, objectives focus usually on the relevant environment external of, of the organization goals internally focused okay objectives may be strictly measurable or tangible in nature goals are uh, objectives are not measurable or tangible goals are tangible and measurable so that's how it is so one example you can say is uh, to increase the performance of a company is the objective increase the performance of a company is an objective but what is the goal to make sure that uh, this uh, increase in performance of the company is done more specific more attainable more realistic more time framed you understanding so in to increase the sales of the company by 20% by the end of the month can be one of the beautiful goal of an organization okay now so we are almost in the end of our uh, chapter so we are now going to understand about what are the three different levels of uh, levels of the strategies in an organization or what are the three portions or levels of an organization first corporate level business level and operational level as you can see corporate level means the head office or the higher authorities business level means the divisional level operational level means the functional level one example i would like to say about these this one godrej now what has happened in godrej is uh, like you know you have uh, the chairman that is in the corporate level then you have the ceo in the divisional level and then comes the functional level the cfo okay that is one example now let's understand from our book what is it okay so these are all we have completed now okay Okay, so you have to make a note now, everyone. 
So I hope you are able to see. So in the corporate level, if you make a note, it will be very easy. You don't have to read that the whole thing which is there in our book also. It's actually giving you that in corporate level, who are the people involved? What is the role of those type of people? And what can be the activities a corporate level does? Okay, so this is short and good and crisp. It is very nice for you to do before exam. Okay, so first one is the as I already have shown you one example of Godrich in the same way, corporate level, what is involved the CEO, CFO and the board of directors who are involved role is to oversee the uh, development of the strategies of whole organization to oversee to check to view whether these are done properly or not activities is set vision, define mission, deciding the business mission vision allocating the resources, formulating and implementing different strategies, providing leadership, managing disinvestment and acquisition process. If you see these all are in one way, that's why I've just written in a step by step format in like first vision, then mission, then business, then resources, then formulation of strategies, then providing leadership, then coming to disinvestment and acquisition plans. Okay. Now, then you have is a uh, the business level or the middle level, which says about the divisional managers, uh, divisional staff, what is the role of it to translate the general statement of the direction and intent, the strategic intent that, that comes from the corporate level, like whatever the corporate level is actually giving, delegating work, it has to implement and bring a statement on it and put more concrete strategies on individual behavior and business level also and coordinate with the lower level. I mean, the next level which we have. What are the activities? It sets goals, defines uh, strategies, implement strategies, and aligned with the, uh, the lower level of the organization. Now coming to the lower level of the organization, functional level where we have the functional heads. We have the functional heads, okay? So the finance manager, according to the uh, finance department, sales manager, sales head, and uh, many other people, okay? Role is responsible for specific business functions, operations, on particular operations, like sales, sales operation, marketing, marketing operation, HR, HR operation. Then you have production, then you have finance, then you have uh, technical, and many other operations many other operations right so these are related to the different functions of the organization so what to do what they do they develop functional strategies operational strategies make sure that the, their operation uh, objectives are set properly and integrate with the whole department all others in the business level as well as the corporate level Okay, make sure the strategies which have been made by the upper uh, middle are being followed by the functional level also. So this was all short about the functional level and this uh, like, you know, you have uh, the div divisional level and the corporate level. Okay. So we are done. We have very nicely understood everything. Now, there are some MCQs which I would also like to uh, do with you people. First MCQ, let's let's make it fast. Okay, strategy is a game plan used, used for what? For market position to attract and satisfy customers to, uh, to respond a dynamic and hostile environment. So all of the above are the, yes, it is for the market position. It satisfies customer. It responds to dynamic. I mean, the changing hostile environment yes right so strategies are game plan used for these next comes strat uh, which of the following is correct strategy is not flexible incorrect strategy is not always perfect flawless yes it is because sometimes the strategies are actually made but sometimes those strategies doesn't work even in some environment so you're the sometimes not perfect and flawless also okay Next, uh, strategy is proactive in action, reactive action, blend of proactive, reactive. You know, we have read it very nicely. We have put stress on it that it is a combination of proactive and reactive in uh, action. Okay. Strategy refers to dash that forms uh, the firm's employees to complete successfully against their rivals. Strategy is uh, refers to ideas, plans, and support uh, for all the firms who employ the complete successfully against the rivals strategies are are 
परफेक्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल प्लान विच आर एप्लीकेबल नो फ्लॉलेस ऑप्टिमल नो एरस नो इट यू कैन नेवर से दैट इट इज इट इज एक्सैक्ट इट इज करेक्ट नो so next comes is dash is an approach where organization takes the initiative or acts as first mover proactive strategy is a person who takes the first move before something has been done you in you give your action you take a first move okay then we have another question of proactive just check the strategic management process is a continuous process okay which of the following strategy management are annual objective especially important implementation the last one strategy management is what it is an ongoing process so the strategy management is a process to define vision mission statement goals uh, roles and responsibilities and timelines yes strategic management can be defined as identification of the purpose of the organization plans no is a, is that set managerial decisions and actions to de determine the long term performance no then it involves a formulating implementation i mean these all are there as strategic management okay which of the following is a limitation of strategic management it operates an environment which is highly complex and turbulent yes it is an limitation because it is complex in nature and it expensive in nature also then we have strategic management is a process that evaluates controls the business assesses its competitors and sets goals assesses each strategy annually and quarterly okay then the best test of successful strategy implementation is whether the actual organization performance matches or exceeds the targets or not so these are some uh, specific results of an organization seeks to achieve a pursuing basic vision vision uh, uh, our objectives okay then comes is an entrepreneur for entrepreneur vision comes before our mission comes before It's obviously vision is first okay then we have vision relates to the firm's broadest and most desirable goals very good visions imply implies the blueprint of an future position yes or no yes visions is the best is the dream of the business of an inspiration and based on the plain process yes then we have goals are broad and specific very good correct then there are some more which of the following basic questions which are vision statement answer where we are to go okay other things are not correct defining the corporate vision mission and goals formulating implementation strategies that uh, that span individual businesses are the role of a management for corporate business and functional level yes decisions at the level within the organization are often tactical in nature in the functional level it is very much tactical in nature they use tactics because you know the word tactics means what behaving in front of one person like you know in front of different people differently okay so the business functions or the operations that constitute the company or one of the divisions are known as as of management that is functional level how many levels are there three which of the following function is played in the business level manager the formulate strategies that specific to a particular business then board of directors that has certain tasks as follows monitor plans no design course of strategic options and appointment of top manager yes which of the following does not seem to be an advantage of strategic management it is an expensive in nature it is complex in nature so it is not an it is not seeming to be an advantage okay so these are some which uh, we have we are almost there uh, completed around 64 questions are there if you want you can just ping us we can just uh, give you i think there will be some something which we can charge let's check on it if you want it okay so thank you we are done with the strategic management introduction i hope you have understood well you are with me you don't have to read again if you want to watch this video again you will 
literally recollect all the things which we have read with examples and with very nice way okay so till then you have to revise rewind and refresh make sure that if possible check with your scanners and the workbooks to get more uh, mcqs to to actually get more grasping power okay thank you so much bye bye i hope you have enjoyed the class